is up everybody we video your boys back baby we're talking about the whole uh scenario what's going on in society right now with uh the black lives matter and a lot of people are saying well there's too much chaos going on right now the to change are they gonna uh end up in like a uh, civil war where uh the people are fighting back against like the government or uh is this a way for people that they really want to defund the police and to be honest that's the dumbest stupidest thing you can ever do is defund the police because when your house is getting robbed when your girlfriend gets mugged at the grocery store or uh the girl uh, getting into her car or her house gets her uh, carjacked or she gets uh, raped which is very uh, disgusting who do you call if you defund the police and there's no police anymore are you going to leave it up to like the local uh, sheriff's department or uh, like a highway patrol to patrol your area because they can't patrol everywhere you can't have the highway patrol patrol the uh, interstates and the freeways and try to patrol uh, the local city that's just not going to be the case but uh, legitimately, a lot of these people are real serious about defunding the police. They're not saying, well, we should stop uh, paying them. If so-and-so is doing this to me, and if there is nobody, what would you have, like a uh, militia or something? That's the only thing I can think of. You'd have like a militia that would have to take over or something. But you always have to have some sort of police. You have to have some sort of police presence. I'm not saying that the police that we have now that uh, done the brutality that's not everybody. That's not 99% of the cops. That's not every cop out there. You can't just say, well, every cop is bad. Every cop is uh, disgusting. Every cop is doing evil, crazy shit. Because that's not the truth. That is not the truth. Okay? That is not the truth. That's like saying every white guy is a racist. And that's like saying every black person is a thug. That's highly unlikely. That's not the case. I know so many black people that are very friendly, very nice. They don't talk in like uh, in like they don't talk slang. They're very proper people. They just talk like an old person. They go to work. They work their nine to five. They make more money than I do, and they drive better cars than I do. And they're very nice people. It doesn't mean just because they're black they're bad people, or it doesn't mean because you're white you're a racist. That's not the case. The cops, it's a lot of white people. Has there been black cops that done bad stuff? Yeah. And one of my mindsets is, how come no one ever talks about the the uh, police shoot or the uh i should say the shootings that happen every chicago where there's 80 80 shot 80 uh people killed a day talk about right now stand up stand up we need to get the red of the police uh we need to get rid of them and uh the black lives matter is like yeah we do and it's like you're dumb because if uh right now right now on this street on this street in jacksonville florida if there was a gunfight some guy came out with the machine gun blah, 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 blah. People are going to be calling 911, help us, help us. But if there was nobody to call, what would you do? All you would do is you'd be like a, a, a sitting animal in the woods getting shot at. You wouldn't have nothing to do. You'd have no one to come protect you. No one would help you uh, help that school shooting when, when the schools uh, get shut up. Nobody would be able to go there to help those children. It would just be more chaos, more kids dying. You wouldn't have people in the nightclubs uh, having like armed security guards. You wouldn't have that. You'd have just... Oh my God! Who you calling? 911? Sorry, we don't. We no longer exist. That's stupid of me to get uh, disarmed and uh, basically uh, want to get rid of the police. That to me is uh, one of the most stupidest things I've ever heard. Talk about the uh, cops being disbanded. There is something called the blue flu. That I guess that's what it's called right now. That uh, some police departments aren't even showing up for uh, their job because of what's going on. Um, I just watched a uh, news reporter saying that some of the Atlanta, Georgia police aren't showing up. So you're having to take other police from other jurisdictions or other like sections and try to cover that uh, area. And they say because a lot of these police officers aren't coming into work and uh, a lot of these police officers are like, we're sick and tired of what's going on. The problem is they're saying like when you call 911 for let's say a robbery or somebody uh, carjacking. There's nobody to the respond, or the response time is going to be outrageously a lot longer than it normally should be. 
so instead of let's say it being 10 minutes to get from there to your house you're like oh it's 20 minutes and by that time the robber the robber already gets you already got you and most times police officers are there just to write a report anyway they're never there re- usually when the crime is actually committing you don't you don't call them when the, the girl's getting beat up by the husband you don't uh, call them and they come and there's a robber in your house and they could um, get the robber out usually it's like my house was jacked my car was robbed um, my husband was beating on me and then the cops come after that but like, 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 like Joe Rogan says and um, Jocko Wellen say on the uh, podcast that what are you going to have then a militia what are you going to have uh, they get, they disband all the um you're gonna disband all the um police departments and get rid of them. We're gonna have the uh, military come in, then you have martial law, and then you got tanks coming down the street. You go, oh well, you can't fight the, uh, as a regular civilian. You can't fight against uh, the United States uh, military because they got tanks. You can't fight back from that. And that's probably and that's what would happen. You would have uh, some sort of of other people come in. Or you'd have the military. And that guy is funny. The guy that's going to be passing me is so hilarious. He's got a face mask on in his car. That's dumb. You don't need no face mask in your car. That's stupid. I can't breathe. That's the hell most hilarious thing I've ever seen. A face mask in the car. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. But, uh, no, seriously, guys. Uh, getting rid of the police is actually a bad idea. I can't breathe.